this video we're going to talk about setting eyes in a gray fox. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a drill bit and level these eyes out. I altered the head so it changed the angle that the eyes are going to sit. I just wanted to be a little more level. Once they're drilled out, I'll put a little bit of clay in the back of them and I will begin to set these eyes. Now with a fox eye, you got to make sure you have a slightly inward cant. Yeah, that's a lot of the people, it'll have a, about a 10 degree inward angle. I like to use these graphs that you can get just to line the angle up. It'll give me my forward angle and it'll show me my can angle. Just line them up and it, they have all the angles you need on these graphs. I think this is a Wasco graph here. Now we're going to start with the clay work. I usually start with the bottom of my eyes. If you look at reference photos, you can just see most of your predators have a nice round bottom lid. If you pay attention to the lowest part of the eye, it's usually pretty much in the, in the center of it. When I set fox eyes, I usually do both bottom lids and then both top lids. It just helps me keep them more even. Now on this one I'm using the reflective eyes you can get from Matuska. So in order to do any slight tooling you cannot use a metal tool. So I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to just work this clay just a little bit more. Get the shape that I'm looking for here. Now we're ready to do the upper eyelid here. And we're just going to take the clay we're going to Notice our high point is in the front third of this and we're just going to roll it, roll it down off of that. We, once we have that, we will tool this clay in just a little bit more, get the shape we really want it, and then we will be ready for the skin to go over it. And now that we have our skin on, we're just going to lay the, the eye skin right against the clay work that we made, and just tuck our skin in. Once again, making sure we use a wooden tool or a plastic tool. No metal tools on these eyes. Now, it is hard to see with my hand here, but we are just trusting the clay work we did earlier and we're just tucking that skin right down into it. And I like to take a brush here and clean the eye up and soften the shape around the eye with it also. When we have the eyes roughed in, I will end up bagging it and looking at it with fresh eyes in the morning and doing some of the finer tweaks that I need to. And here's the eye after I've done most of the tweaks. You can see the reflection there in the eye and because these are an acrylic eye you just got to be a little more careful with them but they do look really nice in the mount. That's all for this chapter. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.